Uh, as we all know, the Quran has been preserved word for word, tashkil for tashkil. It's very clear to you and to every single very advanced student and specialist that the standard narrative has holes. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, anyways, this idea that the Quran is preserved word for word, or you know, you know, haraka for haraka, you, you don't you don't find this kind of opinion in the in the classical sources. And people will always tell you, well, the Quran is preserved, and you know, inna nazdalna dhikra wa inna lahu It means you know, it is it is protected. Well, sure, but you know, let us go you know to these sources and tell us what does it mean preservation. So you go to uh, you again go to the any book of exegesis, go to Zamakhshari, go to Tabari, go to Qurtubi, go to uh, to any of those tafsir, and then they will never tell you that this verse means that the Quran is preserved word for word or haraka bar haraka or har bar har. They never say that. You know, all they say, well, the Quran is preserved from uh, omission and additions. It's preserved from the devils or the shayateen to add something to it. It's preserved that the shayateen would never take anything from it, right? So this whole notion that it is protected, you know, word by word, uh, it's something that is used, you know, you know, for the masses in a sense. Um, and it's not, you know, based on any academic research, academic, not necessarily Western academic. I'm just talking about even academic research, research by classical Muslim scholars, because they already knew that when you talk about uh, the Quran being preserved uh, word by word or haraka by haraka or etc., that we do have many mm, problems and inconsistencies in the tradition regarding those variant readings.